Greetings to everyone around the world and welcome to the Sales AI Summit. We are honored that you've taken the time to be with us today. I think you'll be glad that you're here. Today's new release is the culmination of over 10,000 hours of work across hundreds of lofters, as well as valuable customer and partner feedback and multiple years of product data and learnings that Frank Dale, our head of product, will share with us shortly. And we have almost 4,000 customers, prospects, and partners with us to celebrate this launch. Thank you so much. We are grateful for all of you. And for those in the Northern Hemisphere, today is also the summer solstice, marking not just the longest day of the year, but the first day of summer. And for me as kids, this was always the cherished moment as we escaped the confines of the school year and entered a season of freedom, adventure, and a hope of new experiences. As someone who has spent much of his career in sales, today feels a lot like that first day of summer as a kid. Because today is not a typical product launch. Today, we are unveiling the new era of selling for everyone that engages with prospects and customers on a daily basis. Our mission at SalesLoft from its inception has been clear and unwavering. To fundamentally transform the profession of sales for both sellers and buyers, because we deserve better. Now, before I turn it over to our amazing product organization, I just want to share why I am so personally excited and invested in today. For me, our mission to transform the profession of sales is a deeply personal one. Sales is a challenging job. It is hard, especially when done well. And like many other professions, it requires rigorous planning and replanning, constant execution, ruthless time management, copious amounts of research, and a strong supporting cast. When I started in my profession uh, in tech sales right out of college, I was furnished with a corded phone, binders full of company contact info, and six-foot-high cubicle walls. But I faced a lot of the same challenges that I think every seller's faced and still faces today, unfortunately. Questions like, how do I know the actions I'm spending my time on will help me actually hit the number? How can I learn from my peers? Why am I spending more time on administrative activities and internal meetings than I actually am engaging with my prospects and my customers? How can I get clarity and quick coaching in the moment? Now, it's no longer 1991, and we have a myriad of tools to help us do our jobs, and many of them have tremendous value. The binders have been replaced. The corded phone is a relic of the past, and we have access to much of the world's data at our fingertips through our mobile devices. And our CRM is a system of record that we can't live without. But technology still has not been able to fundamentally answer the questions above until today. Sellers and broader go-to-market teams have been doing whatever they can to help solve customer challenges and deliver revenue outcomes. But it is still far too difficult, and the solutions, unfortunately, have fallen short. While we spent a ton of money on our marketing and tech, uh, sales tech stacks, they're still fractured. They still produce conflicting insights. They require constant toggling across user experiences. And worse, they take time away from spending valuable time engaging with our prospects and our customers. Now, I've been a CRO, a CEO, an operator, and an investor for years, and I've lived with this problem. Having countless technologies pointing reps and managers in different directions, giving different data on where the problems lie, the result was often the same. How do we bring consistency and repeatability to a revenue organization at scale when most of the team is approaching their territories, their accounts, their opportunities, and their contacts in completely different ways. There was no purpose-built AI to complement a workflow platform that covered the entire customer lifecycle. CRM was purposely built to be the system of record, a rich repository of customer data, but it was never intended to be a seller system of action. I love CRM. I built a huge part of my career covering CRM, but it was never designed to answer the questions I started with, including how do I know if I'm spending my time on the things that matter most right now? So our CRM is in desperate need of an equal partner. A revenue workflow platform, meaning consistency and repeatability across your entire go-to-market motion. At SalesLoft, we fundamentally believe that we must anchor on the workflow for every customer-facing role within an organization. And like CRM, the modern AI-driven workflow platform must mirror the entire customer lifecycle, not just one function in the process. 
Because we know buyers today want three things. They want speed and their ability to make a decision and procure new technology. They want to mitigate the risk and ensure that this decision is not going to be one they regret and have to redo in a year or two. And they want to make sure that they are partnering with organizations that innovate faster than their business needs evolve and will ensure that they are supported throughout that change. Now, according to Gartner, buyers are doing 83% of their research before they even engage with sellers. And with all of this research being done online, we also have a new need we have to solve for, which is how do we capture these buyer signals in the digital world in real time and convert them into seller actions? This is the new first mover advantage, and it creates a new must-have requirement because without it, we'll find ourselves the last to arrive and locked out of way too many opportunities. Today, we answer this new requirement with Rhythm. Rhythm is coming out not next year, but now, today. Salesloft customers will be the first to experience this new set of capabilities to impact this fiscal year and empower all of us to better serve our customers and accelerate our revenue outcomes. And for our new customers, you'll get to take advantage of this today. This is a moment. As someone who has spent the better part of their career in sales, I am so grateful for everything this profession has afforded me and my family. And I'm blessed to be leading a company that is dedicated to innovating in this space giving the sellers of today and the future more opportunity than ever before to create meaningful lives for themselves and their family and to drive rev the revenue engine that feeds all of our companies. Today, we fundamentally change the profession that I respect so much. We have an incredible lineup of speakers joining us today. And with that, Nick, what's up next? Well, David, before I let you go, I got to ask you one question. Yeah. How, you how do you, how, I mean, we're going to be talking about AI. We're going to be talking about how AI is going to change sales. And, and I'm curious, how do, how do you personally see AI fitting into a revenue workflow? That's a great question, Nick. So look, AI is not new to us. We've had it in our product for years. But as of late, it has become far more attainable for all of us. And look, we believe that AI has to be purpose-built for the workflows that they serve. We have AI throughout every part of the product and we'll be unveiling new AI that's going to change the game for sellers. But I think the one thing to remember, Nick, is it's got to be purpose-built for the workflows that it serves. <laughs>